Hi, today I'm gonna show you a few really fast, simple hairstyles you can do in five minutes or less to just give yourself that little extra something before you run out the door. Okay, so this is me with totally untreated, untouched hair. I haven't any products in it or anything like that. I just use a short comb. You can use any comb you want. I just do a nice side part. I use bobby pins like these ones. I use a color that matches my hair color so they blend in a little bit better. And then I'm just gonna take the side of it and I'm gonna start twisting. And this just gives a little bit fancier element, nothing too hard. I just twist it and then what I do is I take the bobby pin and I try to pin it upwards and underneath the hair so that it's more invisible and you don't see it so much. It's super easy, I usually do it on the more on the top of the twist. You can see better here. I take a few pieces of hairs, I go back down into it and that locks it in without um, being able to see the bobby pin. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna do it in two parts. So I'll do just the top part, another bobby pin into the top, invisible so you can't see it. And you can just kind of see it on the top there, but because it's on the top of my head, no one's gonna notice. And then the bottom part, and I leave out a few strands to just make it a more loose and relaxed look. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on the other side where I put in a bobby pin or two just to tack it down and make sure that it's not going anywhere. And that's that look. Now for the second look, I decided to go with the center part just for the heck of it. Why not try it out? And then I'm gonna use these two things. I don't know what, oh, combs, that's what they're called. And I use it to kind of smooth my hair out, but I'm gonna use this comb and you go one direction and then back the other direction. That's how you use them. And they're a quick solution. Every, usually when I do them, I have to do it a couple times to get it right. So with this, it's just a super quick, easy look and it gets the hair out of the way, but it also looks super cute and something a little different. With this look, I'm just gonna take the top of my hair and I'm gonna give it a little bit of volume. So I'm just gonna poof it up with my own volume. I didn't back comb it, I didn't tease it, I didn't spray it or anything, I just got that a little bit of volume from pushing my hair back and then I'm gonna add a bobby pin and I go in one direction and then back the other way for a really secure lockdown and then once I have that in I can kind of spread out the rest of the hair and tease it out so that it's not so bunched up in one place and then I'm gonna add another couple bobby pins to make sure it's secure and then what I do is I kind of pull out that top bang area just to kind of get it a little more volume if it needs it and even it out. And then I'm going to pull it tight and bobby pin it and pull it tight on the other side and bobby pin it. I like the kind of slick look that gives it. And then I'm gonna take the extra hair on the side and put that down over the bobby pin and then add another bobby pin. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side And that's that look. Okay, now we're gonna go for the classic French twist. And these are the pins I love to use for this. The plastic one, especially because it goes in so well and it locks hair without pulling. I love that thing. So you just get your hair in a ponytail and literally twist it and that's all you do. And then you take one of those pins and you go in one direction and then back into the twist basically. So you go one direction there and then turn it back and go in. And this gives you the anchor that the rest of the hair will kind of stay in one place. Olivia is making a cameo in my film. So just keep adding a few bobby pins 
here and there until everything is kind of locked down where it needs to be. If some of the hair falls out of the bottom when you first start, don't worry about it. You can easily get that with another bobby pin later. Now you can see some of the hair is left out at the bottom, whatever. You can easily pin that back in. And I also have a bobby pin that's sticking out. You can feel that and you can fix that if you want. Um, because this is such an easy do, I'm gonna show you how to do it just from the back so you can see it. You just take your ponytail, you twist it up, and then you go in one direction and back the other way and that's your anchor. See how it all stays? It's so easy, I love this hairstyle. And then you just kind of twist all the extra hairs all the way down, add more bobby pins to it, and that's it. It's super easy. These ones don't glide as well as the plastic ones. I really like the plastic ones way better. So you just take what's left over, what's loose and hanging out, and you just pin it in. But it's so easy, and it looks so classy and timeless. So this is where I just lock down the extra pieces that need to be locked down. And then you might use my fingers to kind of pull out and add a little more volume so it's not too tight anywhere. And that's that. Go in for another side part on this one. And with this one, I'm gonna kind of really slick everything down and then I'm gonna use a big clip that will actually hold all my hair and I'll use that at the base of my neck. As low as I can get it, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I loosen it up on top so that it doesn't look so stressed and tight. And then I kind of spread out all my hair to make sure that it's throughout the whole clip. Now with this one, I'm gonna use a hair tie that's got to have real good stretch in it. It can't be used and worn out and tired. It has to be real stretchy and a good one. And then I'm gonna pin the top to give myself a little bit of volume there. I just feel like this adds dimension and looks like you actually did something to your hair that wasn't just running out the door. And then I'm gonna put in um, a ponytail, but I'm gonna not pull it through all the way and leave it at this kind of half bun. I think it looks nice and it looks kind of edgy. Then for this one, I'm just gonna take the side, another side part, I'm just gonna do the other side for the fun of it, and I'm gonna just braid this one side for a little, I don't know, interesting element. And I'm doing the kind of braid where you bring the hair, it's a French braid, but you bring the hair, and instead of going over the middle strand, you go under it. And that's what gives you that trendy braid that are super popular right now. Um, and I'm just gonna braid the one side and just kind of pick up hair as I go and then I'm gonna leave hair out of it and I'm gonna braid off the rest of it so that it just stays while I'm getting the rest of my hair put together. And then I'm just gonna use my hands to kind of comb my hair into a ponytail and smooth it out feel it out, make sure it's all smooth, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with a little half bun, because I think that looks better than when you have short hair and you just have a poof. And now we're gonna go for the OG of fast and easy hairstyles, the top knot. Even though my hair is pretty short, I can still pull off a top knot of sorts. Super easy, just don't pull your hair all the way through the ponytail holder and voila. Even though it's really fast and it's not the most glam of hairstyles, I still think it's cute. It makes you look like you're an active lady on the go and I love it for just all day wear when you need it. Like I said, it's the OG of fast hairstyles and it is for a reason. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it. If you liked me, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.